really good. Get that motherfucker! Three weeks, huh? It took you three weeks to get your body fixed up. Hmm. I feel like in the future it could have been done a lot quicker. Raiden is so edgy looking at this point. Just looking at him may cause cuts. So be warned. How is it, Raiden? So far, so good. I've got a clean visual. At the next beat, the eruptic now. <laughs> yes, I should hope so, huh? I mean, how does it feel? To fly like a bird. Like a bird strapped to a remote control rocket. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, but the support we team in this is actually better than MGS4. By a lot. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Can you hear me, Raiden? Doctor. Remember the two procedures to maintain your new body. One. Taking a doom. Seizing nano repair units from your foes. And two. Taking doom. Absorbing their electrolytes. I got it. They're just describing the basic method to this game. You gotta slice people in half and take their energy. It refills your health. Extract their fluids. They're terrorists. I was planning on that anyway. Yeah. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Excuse me. No, I'm not gonna do that. Is that combat data stored on holographic memory, typically located in the left hand? I think this is for just that like collectibles or whatever, but I'm not going to bother with that. <clears throat> I am authorized to offer oh, this guy has the weirdest head ever. He looks like he came fight. through a birth canal that was made out of like metal or something. His head is all squished and elongated. Had the world come down a few years earlier, I would have a Nobel Prize on my shelf. There, I see land. He collects arms, just has them displayed like that. That's fucking creepy. Courtney's what we call no a butterface. Everything about her is bombastic, but her face. She kind of looks like she's a character from the PS2 era. There's something wrong with her face. She also just looks like she sucked on a lemon. And Kevin, I think, played by Phil Lamar, who did VAM. Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, Abkhazia. the terrorists, and restore the rightful government. That's a real place. Anyway, the president and most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military junta has been established. The terrorists brain-jacked all the high-ranking officers, and their cyborgs scattered the rank and file. The few leaders who have survived have no way of openly opposing the new regime. That's why they called us. Wow. Half that team is good-looking, half of it's ugly as fuck. The occupation forces. An extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Georgia. And his arms supplier? None other than Desperado Enforcement LLC. That's a pretty cool logo. Imani's killers. If we don't stop them here, they could destabilize the entire region. <laughs> nice hand gesture. Problem is Jetstream Sam. His name is Jetstream? That's a pretty nice name. The only problem I see is that nickname. It's cooler than mine. I've got my enhancements this time. He won't be an issue. He may not even be in country, but keep an eye out just No, I, I'm sure he will be. Oh. Uh, sorry. Oh, yeah, you're making a joke. Wait, they didn't give me a cybernetic eye yet? Why not? Three weeks and you haven't given me a cybernetic eye? Fair enough, it'll make me look even edgier than before. Originally, this game was going to be completely different. Kojima's team was going to make it about Raiden from being a normal human being into this cyborg. But his team ran into problems. They just couldn't get the gameplay to work. It was a mess. So eventually, Kojima actually secretly cancelled Ryzen. But he then went and asked Platinum Games if they'd like to take a crack at it, and they did. And with a limited amount of time and a smaller budget, they managed to produce this. That's why the environments don't really have a lot of detail. They're not very well designed, I would say. I mean, they look fine, but they're a bit bland. But the gameplay? Oh, baby, the gameplay. It's so good. All these cybernetic implants, and they just tape a fucking bandana over your eye? Really? That's it? That's the best they could do? Jesus. Raiden, you landed safely, da? Da. First, head inland. The waypoint is marked on your solid gun radar. Contact us on Kodak if you have questions. That is unbefucking leaveable. It's such a good mechanic. Why the hell did there not been a sequel by now? Even not a sequel? Why has there not been another game that has copied this mechanic? Look at that! That's unbelievable. And this is in the PlayStation 3. Could you imagine what a current generation or a next generation game like this could be? It would be stunning. Here's a fucking barrel. Fuck you! Uh oh, look. The most dangerous and highly advanced enemy in the game, a cat. Fuck you! Oh wow. You know moves! Rules nature! And they run when the sun comes up. And they glide through the day. 
The, the, the fucking cat! Fucking turned down on me! Wow, cat's got moves. Okay, kitty, you get to live to fight another- No, oh, no, you didn't know I was coming back for you, did you? Fucker! Yeah, there's a codec in this game, and wouldn't you know it, this codec not only has so many people to talk to, I got Boris, I got Kevin, Courtney, and the Doctor, but it actually has more codec conversations in it than Metal Gear Solid 4, which is fucking bizarre when you really think about it. Having more than a main title in the series is breathtaking. I don't think Platinum have made such a great game since. Oh well, except for maybe Bayonetta 2. I suppose that's fantastic. Bastards are using stealth camo to ambush you. Nice try, but it won't do any good against a state-of-the-art cyborg like you. Oh shit, that gorilla! Oh yeah! Do you feel that? I'll take this one. I'll take that one. I love him. What do we got over here? Oh shit! No, 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 no! Okay, these gorilla things might be the most annoying enemies in the game, at least from what I remember. They fucking pissed me off, because they're so tough. At least that's what I remember. Oh, shit! No, you don't. No, you don't. Yes! Oh, I missed the fucking QT. Yes, there's the QT! Baby! Yeah! Mm. Look at that. Look how fucking perfect everything about that was. I thought I was going to have a real hard time here. Maybe not. Fuck, I'm a god. You know, there's actually a blade in the game that's just a wooden sword that can't even cut through people, and I've seen people play through this on Revengeance with that sword. They're fucking nuts. Had your fill? With this body, I could take these guys with no eyes. Intel wasn't exaggerating on the cyborg count. Well, you know how fast the tech's been spreading these last few years. That CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer into every limb. It looks like it could, yeah. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist. And cyborgs are still human. Real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage. Which makes me a murderer. The but these are terrorists, so fuck them. Don't forget the PR angle. Nations start playing Frankenstein with their troops, and the public goes nuts. PMCs, on the other hand, are off the Again with radar. that fucking coffee mug. Oh, I like the little yeah. question mark still on the handle. Out PMCs in official cool. death tolls. With SOP out of the picture, I would never have known that that was Phil Lamar if you hadn't told me. He sounds so different. He's got such a good range. In a way, cyborgs are just SOP troops by another name. Only all muscled up and less predictable. Essentially, yeah. But it makes you wonder, where'd Desperado find these guys? I'm assuming there's mercenaries out there who'd be willing I'm to be jacked up like this. They're like walking vending machines. Right. Vending machines full of blood. <sighs> Okay, that's really meta. You got the guy who's playing vamp, pretended to be a vampire, in a game where he's playing a completely different character. Just for a second to be fun. They sowed their fate when they took this job. Yeah, basically. You join a terrorist organization, you're fucking dead. Oh, you want to change your mind afterwards? Too fucking bad, bitch! You're a murderer! You involved yourself in terrorist activities. You made your bed, sleep in it. Anyway, uh, his school. Let's get to work. Time to increase the peace. Right. By killing as many people as possible. I like that. Oh, your suit looks so good, Raiden. Oh, your suit looks so fucking good. It's a lot more metal, basically. You could appear on the front of a Metallica album and nobody would bat an eye. Oh, uh, this car looks like shit. Nobody's gonna miss this. Oh, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, there was a baby inside it! <laughs> oh, that'd be terrible. <laughs> also, I want to point out, I'm really, really, really glad this game is not open world. The areas are wide open, sure, but for the most part, it's straightforward with good encounters, and I love that. It's so fucking replayable. Let's recap the route you will take. What the fuck? I'm sliding, Boris. I don't know why you tell me all this. I just got done telling you it's pretty much a straight path. They will probably have a grand reception awaiting you at the old city. I mustn't let them down. Do not let your guard down. Can't let them down, can I? <laughs> oh man, it's so great. It looks complicated. All I'm doing is just holding down the R1 button and pushing forward. Oh, boxes. Hup, 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 hup. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? Uh, repair nano paste. That's basically rations in this game. So yes, can I cut this down? I think, I think I can. Oh! Fuck you, Chandelier! Ah, this is so good. You know, if Raiden ever wanted to change jobs for being a security guard, he should just become a circumcision doctor. He'd be perfect at it. <laughs> I'll take one of these. What's this? Hollow chip. I think that's just to buy points so you can buy upgrades, but I've got all the upgrades, so I'm good. in the lower corridor, I see. What? Try to flank them, or approach from behind. I'm always coming from behind. Where? Oh, there he is. Yeah. Oh! I'm gonna take... Oh my god, that's so violent! Look at that! 
Yikes! Excellent ride. Yes, you killed that man it's so brilliantly. I mean, I know the terrorist. Jeez, that's stone cold. Raiden, take that main thoroughfare. You mean the streets? You can use augment mode to see where the enemy is located. Your body analyzes radar and IR data to construct your AR display. Ah, some civilians are still in the city. Oh, you mean like this? This is not good. Some civilians? Well, they should have got out when the emergency order came through. It's not my fault. They know the rules. They made their bed. I'm not worried. I'll keep ahead. There are some moments like this where you can take down all the enemies very quietly. <sighs> you like that? Take her off your legs. Oh, that's so, so brutal. Zandatsu! I don't want it though. Just cutting them in half. Nobody saw me, right? Oh, 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 shit. I'm a dipshit. Off with your hack your head. Ugh, it's like that guy who got killed in Resident Evil 7. Fuck it, I'll take it. I don't need it, but whatever. Oh, I do, actually. It refills my Zandatsu mode blade thing. Right. Wait, there's two more guys on the street down there. They've got a civilian captured. And they're going to execute him. So I guess I gotta go stop him for some reason. What are you doing here? This area is off limits. What? What are you doing here? This area is not fit for terrorists. You got fucked. Oh, this guy doesn't even know. He not even hear me slice your friend open. Oh. Fuck me. You're safe now, civilian. You can go home now. Now to put an end to you. He is scared to death, Ryder. Let him know he is safe. You're not safe. You'll never be safe. You're in a war zone. Thank you, thank you. I will not forget this. You might, you won't. Get back here, you son of a bitch. Right. What are you doing? I am sexually assaulting people. I'm already a demon. Look at that cop piece, huh? This begs the question. Raiden, from his jaw down, is basically all cybernetic. So... What's his wedding tackle like? These are the questions that keep me up at night. Does he have like a, a body at home that he can slip into? Like a whole different cyborg body when he wants to, you know, get busy with his wife, Rosemary? Who, by the way, I don't think we'll actually ever see in the game. Which is great because if she was in the game, along with Jack's son, you just know there's going to be a scene where they get kidnapped or something. Oh, Lord. This would be the scene if you're playing it normally where you'd see the gecko for the first time. Oh, I'm so glad we get to fight the gecko. My dreams have come true. What are you doing? Oh, shit! Oh, I forgot you could do that! Oh, yes! Just like Mel Gear Solid 4! I wish I hit the soldiers, though. That's the only bad thing about that attack. Uh, it's gonna charge me like a bull! Ah! No, 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 you don't! I'm gonna fucking destroy you when I get a chance. Yes! Rolls nature! Ah! Do you feel that? Can you feel it, boogie? <laughs> That's acrobatic. That's poetry motion. I, I did that. This is why you should play this game. There's a lot of people that don't like Rising simply because they find that it's, I don't know, a bit too over the top for Metal Gear. Like, some people even refuse to believe that it's canon. Even though Kojima says that it is canon, I believe it's good enough to be canon. I think it's one of the finest games in the series, honestly. And I would have loved it if the series had continued. And I think it would have. Oh shit, you feel it? Oh, I got your friend's innards. No, 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 no. Okay, you're taking the piss. Uh oh. Wait, whoa, 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 what the fuck? Hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, what was that? I did block you. I blocked you! Fuck. Ugh. Oh, yes, juggle him! Oh, I can take off your arms. I can take off your leg. How are you gonna fight me? How are you gonna fight me? I think he was actually gonna try. What an idiot. Kudos, though. Ooh. These are exciting. I tell you, playing this on Revengeance mode was the right decision because <laughs> when you manage to do good, ooh, you get shivers deep inside. Okay, now to continue down this thoroughfare. Wait, can I get these people without being spotted? Nope! Ah, you got nothing! Wait, wow! Ah, yes! Sneak attack! Just like Metal Gear Solid 4! Ah. Zandatsu! I have you. Hmm. Oh, fuck. Well, that went fucking tits up. Oh, no, they got rocket launchers. That's unfair. Oh, come on. Why would you bring guns to a sword fight? No, kill him before he switches his rocket launcher out. Come on, man. Why are you firing rockets? Shoot me with your... I mean, fire... I mean, cut me with your sword. Don't use rockets. Rockets are for babies. 
This cannot be. It's random. Yeah, well, I'm not, am I? Is there a way to get past this part without actually being seen? Because I would prefer that. Let me see if I can. Taking this rocket launcher. Thank you. You don't know me. Oh, sneaky riding. <laughs> oh, yes. I have learned the ways of the ninjutsu. Thank you, Naruto. All those years of marathoning, Naruto has paid off. How do you know that was the right button? How do you know? It could have been the other button. Where are we going? See what I mean? All the environments are a little bit drab compared to what you would expect for such a high quality game. But that's because it was made so quickly, so they couldn't really help it. Why am I fucking walking? Run, son of a bitch! I like the fact that you leave lightning bolts behind you. That's pretty cool. What? I don't remember a fight being around the corner. Greetings, cyborg. Oh! Show yourself. I remember you. Whoa, 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 How did your nose not get taken away there? You're lucky as fuck. So one thing is clear, this game has really good bosses. Bosses that can stand up to the best of the Metal Gear series. Certainly better than Metal Gear Solid 4. Not that that game didn't have some good bosses, but these bosses, they are world class. Here's one of the most dangerous ones! I don't know how I'm gonna beat this guy on Revenge difficulty. He looks like he's gonna be a complete bitch. And you are. I can't remember your name. I am IF Prototype LQ84I. I, I can't remember that. IF Prototype. Interface Prototype. All autonomous UGs feature high-level onboard artificial intelligence. An additional prototype interface enables verbal communication. Oh, verbal communication. is an intellect far beyond human reckoning. You don't say. Okay, then. What's the meaning of life? Why are we here? Yeah. Wow, okay, we're just gonna be having this conversation. The meaning of life, and he just tries to kill me. What? I am here to kill you. There's the meaning of life for you. Maybe that is the meaning of life. Okay, how? Oh, you've still got those heels in your feet so you can grab things. Nice. That's it? Pretty simple thinking for such a mighty intellect. I may analyze orders, but I may not disobey them. What are you doing? Should I disobey a direct order, my memory would be wiped. I must destroy you. What do you got to remember? What good is an intellect if you can't use it? Your taunting is pointless. Exterminate. It's similar to Crime Wolf's design, but the head and the body's a little bit smaller and different. But I think that's what it's based off of, the chassis of Crime Wolf. Wow, um, another boss already, just after we got done with Metal Gear Ray. Yes! This is gonna be fucking good. If I remember correctly though, it has a lot of attacks. Can't even get close to it. Okay, a few little hits. Yes! Whoa, did you see how much health I just took off it? Oh, fuck. One parry, I took it down past half health. That's ridiculous. The parry is super OP. You need it to survive. How the fuck did anybody do this with the wooden sword? I don't know. There is a trophy for doing all these bosses without being hit once. I cannot remember how the fuck I even managed it though. Yeah! I'll take all this shit. I'm having that. I'm having that. Mmm, delicious. You wanna come back down here? I killed your minions. The parry is such a good mechanic because it forces you to be very, very brave. Like, I'm usually always getting the parry wrong because I'm putting up my guard like you can see really early, which means I'm always off with the parry. So you, in order to get good at the game, you just need to get really fucking brave. I can't believe I've taken down most of you. Oh, shit! I've killed you already? That parry just wiped you up, buddy! Zadatsu! Die, 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 die! Do you feel it? Do you feel the power? I guess he's not coming back again. Never be game over, buddy. What would an AI know about freedom? So yeah, it seems like Revengeance Mode is going to be doable. It's just that that first opening chapter really scares the living bejesus at you. Why would you ever use this move in the game? I mean, it's cool and all. It's a nice throwback to Guns of the Patriots, but why? Oh, 
That's that you've been sick. There's barely anything came out. That's pathetic. So the snake looks down on you in disgrace, right? Who is this that told you to find your own name before you stopped going by Jack? The one and only Solid Snake. Ha ha. Hero of Outer Heaven, Zanzibar Land, Shadow Moses. The list goes on. I bet it does. Right, right. Guy's a legend. Oh, you knew him too, Kevin. I okay. You knew him so well. Yeah, he saved my ass at Big Shell. Not to mention a few times after that. <laughs> I've lost count. I love how they talk about it. In terms of pure combat ability, he's one of the greatest soldiers I've ever seen. Maybe the greatest, I think you should that. say, Ryden. He knows what's right. Yes. And he just gets it done. Yes. Period. No one can stop him. <laughs> I've learned a lot from him. You learned everything. <laughs> He'd kill me if he heard me talking about him like this. He would probably break wow. someone's neck, yes. I didn't know you were such a fanboy. Oh, wow. I thought you were going to start crying there for wow. a second. Wow. <laughs> Very funny, Ken. I wasn't that so you. Seriously, though. Did Snake know he had a stalker? This is... You're going too far now. You're busting my balls too much. <laughs> <sighs> hey, relax. I'm only ribbing you. I just wish I got to meet the guy, you know? I know. I know. You're no fun. I did, though, but you didn't, Kevin. How does it feel? So that's a weird conversation, because it doesn't really tell you whether or not Solid Snake is alive or dead. I think at this point, Konami and Kojima kind of wanted to keep it unsure or unconfirmed, so that if they wanted to make a sequel with Solid Snake, they could. Oh, for fuck's sake, what now? Attack helicopters! I've only taken a few steps from the fucking... Oh, are you kidding me?! I just finished the boss fight! This game is relentless! That's what I'm telling you, man! Oh, it's so good! Why can't every game be like this? Man, you know, that Devil May Cry, the new one, DMC, I couldn't play it because the Dante character has the most shittest face I've ever seen. You look at him and I just want to punch him to pieces. But this is so much better. I've seen some Let's Plays of DMC, it looks like shit. But this, this is what I'm talking about. How am I gonna get up to that helicopter? Oh, never mind. You just told me how? Homing missile. How do I use them? How? Why is he firing? Oh, R1. I was pressing R2. What an idiot. Wait a minute. The, the helicopter comes down. I need to go forward to it when it comes down like that. It's, it's somehow dizzy. Oh, darn it. Ah. Oh, wow. Bastard. Back here, Chuppy. Run! Yes! Jumping on the fucking missiles! This is exactly how Raiden would play as if you made a game about it. This is beyond our wettest dream. And I've had a lot of wet dreams about riding. Yeah, as, a, as a ninja. <laughs> Fucking destroying these encounters, by the way. That should have been an S. Oh, what do we got up here? Is that a civilian? That is a civilian. I'm gonna try to save him. Riding's a good guy. I have a rocket launcher. I could use the rocket launcher, I suppose. Sorry, civilian. What is that in the sky? A strider? Oh, get over that. Oh, wait a minute. The civilian survived. How? Come over here then. Come over here and fight me. I have a good idea. Get away from that civilian. Why are you using guns? Guns are useless against swords. Everybody knows this. Have you seen a samurai film? Dude, guys, guys, I'm really sorry, but you're, you're not really... You don't have a fucking chance. That's pretty cool. You're using the striders, kind of, that Raging Raven used as flying suits? Why don't you all have that? My legs, you fuck. Did you just say the F word in a Metal Gear game? Oh, look at him, he's trying. Oh, your leg is fucked. Let me see. Oh, look at that. Is that soldier dead? Good. You're safe now, little man. You can go run off and get killed by somebody else. I think you, Mr. Vajdanovich, sir. I'll never forget you. You better get back here. I want to see some nudity, damn it. That's a civvy riding. No, it's a sissy. Get out of here. La, 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 la. You better run. Tell them who sent you. Raiden. Snake would be proud. If Snake were watching this, he'd be like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That would be great, actually, if Snake was still alive. I mean, it's unconfirmed if he is, but if he is still alive, it would be great if he was one of the members of the support team. What a missed opportunity. How the fuck is that box floating in midair? Stop it. So that's where they're holding up. Shit. Some kind of electronic lock on the gate. Really? Like Couldn't we just open use open our open super open amazing open sword? Stored in your left hand. Perhaps you could find a cyborg with access and uh, borrow it? Perhaps I could just you vault over it? Around here, Doc? Why not double back? Check the vehicle route again. You know, back at the entrance to the old city. I mean, there's somebody back here where I just came from who has the ID. Oh, there is as well. Hello. Nope! Fuck you, I'm not giving you a chance. I don't play favorites. 
I don't like to be nice. Okay, I should probably check who has the actual left hand. Okay, here we go. Who has it? Who has it? Nobody. Okay, well, fuck me then. Maybe somebody down here. So they were just grunts. I didn't need to fight them. Wait, 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 wait. Look, look. There it is. I need this. I don't need this. Thank you very much. You've been very helpful. Bravo. Excellent work. Thank you, long-headed doctor. Where's Otacon? Why isn't Otacon here? I guess he's got to take a rest. I mean, I'm pretty sure if I were Otacon, I'd want a fucking rest too. They've earned it. They've earned their rest. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Just punching buttons. What up, bitches? The party doesn't start till the ninja walks in. Oh, yo, oh, get him, get him. Oh, fuck, I missed the quick time event. Oh, there'll be more, I'm sure. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> yes. And fuck your legs. Any questions? Can I get in those windows? <gasps> Fucking right I can. Wow, you jump right through perfectly as well. Nice animation. How do I get over there? I can't double jump. Wait, 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 wait. There's a door here. Making good progress. I thought for sure Revengeance Mode would give me a lot more trouble than this, but it's actually, it's a healthy challenge. It's doable. Dozayev. Oh my god, that guy is just Russia personified. That woman. The side characters in this game really don't have very strong characters, but man, you can tell what they are just by looking at them. Screw you! I go back to Russia and I make my own war, why not? Who's this? Why, it's the world's greatest possible waifu. Huh? Sombra. You see me? She must be using seven epics, can't be. Dryden, what's happening? Your heart rate spike. Huh, well, did you get turned on by that? Oh, good thing Rosemary isn't here. Yeah, I just dodged a bullet. I love how short the cutscenes are in All this, right. though. Kojima could have really fire. taken some notes from the director of this game just because they're so short. They're not as well directed? Man, I love how timely they are. But I, nobody's watching. Why did you do that? Shut up, Doctor. That girl might have been watching, Doctor. You don't know. It's only one thing for it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh shit! You ripped that barrel apart! That was my favorite barrel! Boy oh boy, the violence is just out of this fucking world, man. Why can't I cut buildings? I want to cut the buildings. Oh wait, 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 wait. Somebody up here? Oof. No, you didn't sight me. Oh, there's a goddamn Ferris wheel? This feels like Chernobyl suddenly. No, get back here. No, he died! Oh shit. I just entered another combat arena. What the fuck is that? Are you shitting me? What the fuck? Already? That thing doesn't show up until later in the game. No! No, run, 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 run. Oh, I'm in a deep world of shit here. Dude! Dude, I fucking took it down! I can't believe I killed it. What the fuck are these things called again? Grads, I think they are? They're basically like those um, Roomba machines from the first, or was it second Metal Gear? But fully upgraded to their final form. Wow, I wasn't expecting that little encounter to go from zero to a thousand like it did. I'm having that. Oh really? When were you gonna start kicking my ass? Are you gonna start anytime soon? No? Was that you kicking my ass, was it? Mmm. Consider my ass kicked. Look at this Ferris wheel. You really think I could go without destroying this Ferris wheel? Fuck no. Oh. There it goes! Wow, that just that came apart like a house of cards. I did everybody a favor. That thing was unsafe. We intercepted call for backup during your last fight. The caller's position is on your solid on radar. You can engage if you wish. It is your choice. Fair enough. I like to fight. Up above you! What? Where? That's not up above me, that's in front of me! Oh, there's two. Boris, why is there two? What the hell? Is there even anybody in these choppers or are they unmanned? Because that was some fucking suicidal maneuvering. Pretty much every enemy in the game is fun. I don't think there's any which are really, truly annoying. I thought those gorilla things were the most annoying, but I beat one of them pretty easily. Yeah, boy. Get down. Oh! Oh, hey! 
Shibuya and Ness. That's a pretty cool place. Kind of makes you think there's going to be like a Dragon Ball fight with Raiden flying her all around with somebody else and they cut all these things apart. Maybe there will be. Fuck your gate. Fuck it. No, let me through. <laughs> let me through. Fuck you then. Wait, what? That's what I'm talking about. I thought it didn't cut there for a second. I was about to return the game. Oh, no. No. Oh, I forgot. I completely forgot. Yep. I spoke too soon when I said there was no annoying enemies. Yep, there are. These fucking scarabs, which are also called mini dwarf gecko. For some fucking reason? Why would you ever call them dwarf gecko? They're nothing like the gecko. Oh, fuck them so much. Damn, that's the only bad thing about the game. But I gotta admit this. They do suit Metal Gear Rising than they did Metal Gear Solid 4. By far. They've got the right aesthetic. Little fucker. Yeah, oh. That's quite satisfying, actually. Maybe it's good they're in this game just because you can take the fucking revenge on them. Or should I say, revengeance. So long, there, Mr. Morrigan. I will defeat you. Dulceev and his team must be in here. Find him. No worries. So we're here to find Dulceev, who's a bad guy. Oh, we're here to just to find the Russian and defeat him. Because he's a warmonger or a dictator or something. But Mistral will be defending him. Raiden, wait. There are active IR sensors in the area. Oh perfect my god. Oh, wow, Boris. Talk about perfect timing. I almost hit that. Uh-oh. Into my little drum. Trying to make use of this. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I fucked up there. Get some? Douche! Fuck you. Oh, wow, wow. You just use a little rocket launcher? You're not gonna have time to reload. Oh, you wanted to fight me with the rocket launcher, but now I'm gonna get you in a pattern. Look at these arms. How are you gonna fight me without one? Oh, no. One arm bandit, bitch. Fuck those legs of yours. No. You have literally no limbs, man. You have no limbs! I'm proud of you. He's still fighting! What a trooper! I salute you! Boy, I could have probably let that guy alive. He kind of deserved it, but I just got too caught up in my revenge. What the fuck is down here? Wait a minute. There's a item box down here. Who the fuck are you? Why were you hiding here? Were you scared of me? Because that's pretty cool. You're so terrified you use the old hiding in the box technique. Can't hold on much longer. I will never let go. Man, I love the Sonic Adventure games as a kid. It's weird, but I never really would call myself Sapcon. Everyone else does, or sometimes they know of me by that. I never think I'm Sapcon, you know? I should. I am Sapcon. Hear me and despair. Some more. I was wondering when you'd come, Jack the Ripper. No one calls me that anymore. Dolzayev, where is he? I thought you were going to say I'm called Dolzayev. I can show you a better time than that crusty old bear. No, You're I'm into bears as it happens. I am Mistral. Ooh. The cold wind of France. Lovely lips, lovely hair, lovely and everything. you, your reputation precedes you. Liberian, but white as snow. A natural born killer. Big chest. Even I'm assuming most of that's padding now. That was a long time ago. But I still live with I it every day. I'm born in Algeria myself, you know. Oh, really? I'm only half French. That's a lot of information. And More information than we got from the Beauty and we Beasts. We had our own civil war in the 90s. So you see? We're the same? Cut from the same cloth, you and I. I suppose. You don't know me. I lost my whole family. Everything. I never had a family. I'm not evil, even though I look evil. But I butchered those fuckers. Oh no, we're starting off My strong in this Metal killers. Gear. That's when I realized I am a killer too. And a good one at that. Sexy one too. Could you just keep talking? I slaughtered dozens in Iraq. In Afghanistan. I'm okay with her just talking because her I voice is amazing. Proud of that, are you? What happened, happened. Uh-oh. To be honest, I found it quite dull. Oh my god. I can't find a topless woman. My enemies felt like Domino. One after another. Oh, whoa. Not once did I feel threatened. 
I was adrift, without challenge, without purpose. These fucking things. At times, I even envied my prey. At least they had a cause to die for. And then, I met him. Who? Wait, who are you talking about here? Who? Not Big Boss, obviously. Who are you talking about? And I knew what I had been missing. If those are your real boobs, you're huge! These ideals gave my life meaning. Ideals, Jack. What are yours? Protect the weak. I protect the weak. Yeah. That's what he does. He's good at it. <laughs> What's happening? Still? Oh, no. I can't believe I feel bad for these things. So naive. Not much bad. And if I must kill to protect them, then so be it. This is what classic Metal Gear villains are like. Oh, shit. Nice. It seems we have less in common than I thought. Yeah, I'm not a psychopath. I'll take that as a compliment. If you would kill for your ideals, then surely you are ready to die for them. This is like the best 80s action movie you've never heard of. It's so hype, and all the one-liners fit perfectly. This character has so many of my fetishes, it's crazy. And if the whole mercenary thing doesn't work out for you, you could star in adult films. With all those hands, you could be pretty popular. Or I don't know, you could work at a bistro or something. Oh my god. The ultimate waifu. Well, that's pretty cool. All the bosses in this game are stunning. And their songs only hype them up even more. Oh, what? What? Already? You suck! I thought you were gonna be tough! Now, the great thing about these fights are the music, as you can hear, it's just, um, oh shit. It's just instrumental at the moment. There's no words. The words only come in when it really kicks into high gear, the fight. That's what makes it so good. This was the soundtrack of the year when it came out. Oh, yes! Okay, I seem to be doing pretty good. So far. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit! I don't know what the fucking. How do I block that? I need to get better at this countering. Oh, she's hard to see. It's really hard to fucking hit her when all these other things are also hitting me too. Oh shit! No! Okay, well, well, my health's almost gone. My health's almost gone. Fuck off, you little thing. Oh man, I gotta get the timing down. Where are we go? Spoosh! Fuck your thing! You're gonna get ripped to shreds. Wait a minute, I haven't even taken down much, much health of hers. No! She threw one of the little fucking things at me! Stop it! No! She, stop it! Oh. oh, wait, is she trying to get more arms? She doesn't have a weapon anymore. What are you doing? No, no! Oh, shit! I don't know if I can dodge those or I'm supposed to run past them. I probably should have run! God fucking damn it! Get away from me, scarabs! No, oh, she's- they're giving her more arms! Oh, yes! What? No, Ryan! Okay, she's got a body built for days! Oh my god, this is me! Ah, fuck you! Ah! Nice! Ah, it's unbelievable. It's amazing how Platinum Game can take such a not that interesting looking location, but still make it hype because of the characters and the actions. Oh yeah? I'm gonna give you everything. Oh! No! No, oh, she's whipping me! It really is every finish rolled into one! Holy shit, that whip does a lot! Come on, Mistral! I think all the group members are named after, like, wind or weather effects or something. What am I supposed to do here? How am I supposed to take it down there? I tried- Oh, 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 What the fuck? Nothing's hitting her and she's hurting me! And the scarabs are also taking down my life too. If I could learn to fucking counter her moves, I would be destroying her. But with these scarab fucking button in every 10 seconds, I can't. Goddamn fucking witch! Ah! Her, her song is pretty good. This is when I knew I was unsure if the game would live up to the hype that I had for it. But it was during this fight, especially when the song really kicks in, that I thought, holy shit, this is something special. Got it wrong, lady! Whoa! At times the graphics really don't look that hot, but damn, do Platinum know how to make it great. I think this might be the longest mission in the game. Everything after this is shorter. I think. I'm not 100% sure. It gives you an idea of how short the game is. This ain't There's the music! There's something about it! 
It just makes every fucking one of your hype senses go crazy. I love it. Also, my health is extraordinarily low. If I hit that drum, shit's gonna go off, I know it. Oh no! Go, 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 where is she? She's not that tough, actually. She was super tough the first time, but now she's not. Oh, oh, oh! Get the fuck out of the way, you little shits! Scarabs, is there anything they don't ruin? Get the fuck. Oh! Oh no! No! Come, here. Come on! Oh, you fucking kidding me? Yes! Fuck your sword! Ah! Get off me! This is my chance, you shits! Oh no! God damn you! Fucking scar! Ruining my life! For now, I gotcha! You're on your last legs, I can tell! Oh shit! Okay, when she does the big spinny circular saw of death, I should get out of the way. Oh yeah, I can I could juggle you if I was a better player. <laughs> Eek! Eek! Stop locking onto the scarabs! Look onto her! Fuck! God, I hate these things! Ruining the game! Okay, the camera is kind of being a bit of a dick right now, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, for fuck's sake. I keep trying to lock onto her, and I'm locking onto those little spheres instead. Yes! Come on and die! Yeah! Say my booty, you bamboo pole, baby! You're gonna get screwed up! She's got no weapon! She's gonna throw her little things at me! That's a great attack! Cheap as shit! Ah! Ah! I hate this fucking thing! Just run away from them. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, I must have had a... Shit! I was about to say, I must have had a nano paste pack or something because I got revived. See, she is getting destroyed though. It's just not as fast as I would like. Come on! Yes! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Do you feel the power? The power of revengeance! Pointless. No, I'm winning. What are you gonna do? You have no attacks left. I am... I'm gonna fucking eviscerate you. Come here! Oh, she's gonna get her pullback. Oh my word. One hit. One hit took off three quarters of my health bar. Come on down. You're basically... Oh shit! No you don't, lady! Off with your head! Oh, can we rip off all her arms? That would be great. Whoa! And the finishes to all these bosses are timeless. What is that? O2 or just water? Is that hydrogen? It is hydrogen! Oh yeah! Swoosh! 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 Fuck your sad childhood! Mine was sadder! Fatality. Widen. That's just the first human boss. And that's how good it was. Rank D? Yeah, fair enough. I didn't do that good. Mister, report! Your vitals are dropping. Oh, her vitals are way down. Look at this mess. I can't even figure out which parts are which. What? So this is how they felt. How is she talking? Dying. Fuck off. Alright, maybe some of her implants or whatever are still no. functioning. Hold on. I am sorry. He was too much. I do not need apology. I need you alive. I think she's about to pull through any second now. I know. You will never fall. What? What is this talk about? What are you speaking? You know I don't understand French. Je t'aime. What does that mean? Which remember? means that she likes you? Was that a confession? A death confession of love? She's not talking to you, idiot. She's talking to me. I'm her lover. You killed her! You vile nuts! Murder! This guy is the most Russian looking dude ever. It's like there's no subtlety to him. Surrender. He's Russia in the same way that that fat bald guy at the start is just Texas. Why would I surrender? We are exactly where I want. What? Where is he? Oh, is he gonna blow this place up? He's gonna suicide himself on top of that boob shaped plant. 
They will be free. He is. He is gonna do it. Oh my God! What does that accomplish? You creating like another Chernobyl that's gonna destroy everything? What a fucking idiot! Some coup d'état that was. Crazy son of a bitch. Raiden, Raiden, what happened? Mission success, technically. Bastard blew himself up. Uh, I think. Well, time to get you out of there. He's defeated. We're sending a helicopter. Secure an LZ. Everything's secure. There's nobody else left. Understood. So that's one member of the Winds of Destruction down, the enemy group of the game. I think there's only two others. My overall rank was B. That's not bad, I think. Considering. Could have been a lot worse. Customize riding the body. Actually, yes. Every time you defeat an enemy in the game, you get their weapon. And I get her weapon, which is the polearm Letrangia. I, I, I think that's how you pronounce it. A polearm made by linking multiple tripod arms together. Wait a minute, they're called tripods? How many names can they have? Scarab, tripod, mini gecko. Give me a break here. Hey, what the fuck, muchacho? What's this Americano thinking? Appropriating our culture? That's almost racist, man. Yeah, I, if I cared enough, I'd go up and tell him. Oh shit, he's got a cool dog, though. Suddenly, I don't mind so much that he's a little racist. 